Okay, let's take a look at this problem that was messing with us. So it says the first orange paint mixture contains six part red and nine parts yellow. And I drew myself a little diagram down here. You can see this is my first paint mixture um, right here. Oops. Um, it has, uh, I just put six red uh, rectangles and nine yellow rectangles. And then a second orange paint mixture contains four parts red, one, two, three, four, and six parts yellow. Um, and we're trying to figure out which of the following statements is true. Uh, now, I will do this mathematically, but before I do it mathematically, let's look at just common sense way. Um, we're trying to compare which of these colors would be either redder. So would it be that the first paint mixture is redder or the second paint mixture is redder? Um, well, here's what I'm noticing. I noticed right away that they're the exact same um, uh, mixture. And students tell me, they're, how could they be the exact same mixture? This one's missing three yellows and this one's missing two yellows. Yeah, it's not about one color. This is about a relationship. Whenever you're looking at a ratio, you have to compare the colors together. And so what I'm going to do here is I want to prove to you that both of these ratios are the exact same two to three ratio, meaning for every two reds, um, I have three yellow paints and I will do it by grouping. So here I have two reds and three yellows. Okay, now I'm going to do another group of two reds and three yellows. And you can see that I have one more group here of two reds and three yellows. So no matter how many times I mix together two red with three yellows, I can make a little bit of paint with just two red and three yellows, or I can make lots of paint over and over again mixing two red portions with three yellow portions, I'm going to end up getting the same color. If you look down here, this has the exact same ratio. Two reds with three yellows, two reds with three yellows. Now obviously this worked for me because I could just see it. I could just see that both of these were actually a ratio of two to three. How could I just see it? So let's go ahead and do look at this mathematically. This first one was a ratio of six to nine. Ratios work just like fractions. In fact, I would go so far as to say um, that the word ratio and fraction are fairly synonymous for our purposes. They mean the same thing. Um, I could write this as six to nine, but I could just as easily write it as six over nine. Six over nine. Six to nine, the six to nine ratio. Um, that being said, um, you might know already that m there are uh, thousands, millions, actually an infinite number of ways to say each given fraction. And so what mathematicians do is we all say, you know, we are all going to agree that we'll always use the reduced form, the form that's been reduced to lowest terms, um, and so that we all know what we're talking about. If there's so many different ways to say the same number, we've got to have a way um, or to talk about the same relationship, <clears throat> we've got to have a way to get down to the basics of that number. That's the, it's called reducing to lowest terms. Okay, <clears throat> so because ratios are, uh, and fractions are synonymous, I can reduce a ratio as well. Now what you should do when you reduce a ratio is you should look at the numbers, the two numbers that you have, and you should think of anything they have in common. Any common factor, anything they're both divisible by. They can both divide perfectly by, <clears throat> sorry, I have a catch in my throat, with no remainder. So six and nine are both divisible by three. And if you need help to figure out what something is divisible by, I have tons of videos of that on my YouTube channel. Just let me know, I'll get that for you. But I know that six and nine are both divisible by three. So I'm going to take that common factor that they both have and I am going to divide it out of both of them. So six divides by three. If you divide six by three, you get two. Nine divides by three. If you divide nine by three, you get three. And I can see that the ratio of six to nine simplifies or reduces to the ratio of 
same ratio as two to three. Two for every three. Which should make sense because we see here that we got three groups. We repeated that two to three ratio three times. So that's that idea that I've divided them both by three. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Let's do it down here. The original ratio is a ratio of four to six. Okay, uh, but again, I know that four and six, those are both even numbers, right? Um, Oh man, I'm having typing issues. Um, all even numbers are divisible by two. They divide perfectly by two with no remainder. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna divide that common factor out of both of them. That's that idea of reducing to lowest terms. It's removing any common factors. So dividing both four and six by two, four divided by two is two, and six divided by two is three. And I get that exact same ratio of two to three.